everyone. This is Gail, and I have gotten another order in from RJ Crafts. And if you remember, in the last order, I bought these dragon wing cutters, and I forgot to order the silk screen that goes with it. So I got the silk screen here for the dragon wings. And I think I'm going to be using that in a little while. I got this silk screen. Let me turn it over because she does give you a sheet of acrylic sheets to protect your silk screens. But I got this because I want to make some earrings and pendants using that design. And then I got sugar skulls. And I also got the sugar skull cutters which is set number 113, but I thought, I'm not a big sugar skull person, I'm, I don't, I just don't do, I don't do skulls for one thing, but um, I thought these would be fun, be fun, I know they're very popular, and this is something that I'll probably do uh, in another week or so, so let me put these together. And then I got this cutter set, number 152, which is, I believe, one of Allison Merritt's cutters. Let me get my sheet out just to make sure. It doesn't say, but these are different. Um, let me get them out. First, let me get a white piece of paper or something so you can see what they look like. But these are earring cutters. and Well, I say that. They can be used for anything, but they're different shapes. And there's a large and a small of each one. So, like, there's the large one of this shape, and there's the small, and here's the large of the, I don't know what you would call it, it's some kind of trapezoid, but I don't know exactly what it's called. Then there was this one, which is really kind of cool, and then this one. So you can see there's just lots of fun shapes in this and you can make all kinds of things. And I've already got an idea for this one, but I'm going to wait until I've, I'm going away in a couple of days and I'm going to wait till I get back before I start playing with these anyway. The way she had them stacked in here really helps, not only for space, but keeps them kind of organized. Well, that one just drops through. That's okay. But this is uh, cutter set number 152. And then I also got this cutter set, which is sea turtles. And this is number 180. And I love sea turtles. But look at all the different sizes. So you can make little ones, big ones, you can make magnets, you can make pendants, you can just all kinds of things with them. So I'm kind of anxious to get started on these too. And I don't know if these will nest inside each other or not. No, they won't. So I'll just put those back in the bag. And as usual, she sent, anytime you order a silk screen, she sends you a sheet that tells you how to take care of your silk screen and your sweet tarts or some kind of little candy. But what I thought I would do, let me put these back in here. What I thought I would do today is with Halloween coming up, I thought I would go ahead and do the dragon wings. And I'm going to take the silk screen, and this is the shiny side, and this is the dull side. And if you look at it, it says rjcrafts.com. 
if you use that as your um, as your on the top, then you know you've got the right side down. And let me see which one of these cutters. I only bought two sizes. I did not buy the whole set. So let me see which ones I have. I think that's it. I don't think it was the biggest one. really hard for me to tell. I should have made a note on here which size I got, which of course I didn't. Let me see if it says up here. No, it doesn't. But anyway, I have the Dragon Wing Cutters. I'm going to try this one. And if it's too small, then I'll... Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll do this one. And I'm just pressing it down with the shiny side down. And today I'm going to use the mica powder. That it's not, it's discontinued. They don't make it anymore. But this was made by um, Mona Lisa that makes the um, the foils. You know the uh, leaf. That's what I'm talking about. Silver leaf and everything. And this is just their platinum powder and it's gorgeous and just about the time I discovered it they discontinued it so I'm going to use that because I love silver and I'm just going to lightly dust some of this over the open places and you could do this in a color But I just thought the silver or the platinum color would be really pretty. And just make sure that the powder covers all of the design. And then what I thought I would do, let me tap this off. Let's take a piece of patty paper. And lay over top of it. You can use any kind of paper and just kind of burnish it with your fingers. Now this is black clay rolled out to the number five setting so it's fairly thin. I'm just trying to make sure that it gets burnished in all over. And let me just pull up a corner and see how it worked. Oh yes, it did fine. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's nice and shiny. So what I'm going to do now is cut this out. And excuse my hair, but I have to get over this to see exactly where to place the cutter. Because you want to see just a little bit of black around the edges. Actually, I might have gotten, I thought, I was afraid this would be too small, too big, but it looks like the cutter is too small. That's two. Now let me try this one. Mm, 
I'm just having a hard time getting these little scallops lined up with everything else. And then I'll put this one over here. And then I'm going to take an acrylic block and just press down on both of these. Give them just a little bit of a wiggle, not enough to do anything, but with these flat uh, cutters, sometimes the little wiggle just helps to clean up the edges a little bit. All right, let me pull this up and see what we've got. See, I missed it down here. I got this one pretty good but I'll need to do another one on this side. I don't want to press down on it. Well, I did it anyway. got silver on this side. Get a paper towel. Just trying to smooth that down. I just need to do this one because I just messed up placing my cutter. I'm kind of new to this type of thing. I've never used this type of cutter until I started with RJ Crafts and I'm fascinated by them and the fact that Rhonda can make these as they're ordered because they're printed with a 3D printer. I just think it's awesome. Let me do this one again. I'm going to fold this paper so I don't get silver all over it. And then pull this up. I ended up getting silver all over it anyway. Let me just trim this off so I don't have so much here. And this time I'm going to set it this way because the other one seemed to line up really well. Let me just press this one down and see if I did better. we go. So I can take this one up and what I'll do is take a little toothpick and just go around the edges. You don't have to cut you don't have to touch the design itself. Just go around the edges and get off all this extra clay. Okay, I'm not going to worry with the rest of the little, uh, little bits that are around. But I am going to put some kind of a curve on these. Um... You can do different things. If you have a glass bowl, you can lay it on a glass bowl. But I have these metal bowls that are excellent for putting some kind of a little bend or curve in your clay. So I'm going to 
just run my fingers around some of the places. I'm going to put it on this curve. Just to give it a little curve so it's not so flat. Now these bowls I bought from Donna Cato on her pra uh, Prairie Craft dot com website but I don't know that she has them anymore they ha they were it's been quite a while I'm just going to put these on here just a few little places I still want to touch up before I put it in the oven and this time I think I'm going to go ahead and punch my holes. And what I'm going to do for my holes, I'm going to use a drinking uh, coffee stirrer. And I'm just going to poke a hole there. And poke a hole here. And then this, rather than try to get the clay out of here, I just cut the tip off, put this back in my jar, and throw away the little tip that's got the clay in it. So I'm going to bake these for an hour, and then I'll be back. Okay, the pieces are out of the oven. And I'm going to just take an emery board and go around these edges a little bit just to smooth out any rough areas. See, this is why I smooth it out before I uh, bake it because this way I don't have so much to sand off. Just little tiny pieces that might be stuck on there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and I'm go not going to do this on camera because you've seen me do this enough. I'm going to go ahead and coat this with resin. And, um, you know, I'm going to coat the front and the back. And then I will be back and show you the finished earrings. So here's my finished Dragon Wings earrings. I think they're adorable. And I think being Halloween, they could pass as bat wings. What do you think? So I think this is another successful tutorial or demo using the RJ Crafts Dragon Wings cutters and silk screens. So hope you like that. I will be back again soon. Bye-bye.